Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Makeup by Loka Miko. So today I would be showing you a very beautiful black brown smoky eye with the most minimum number of products that I can possibly use. And this video would concentrate only on eyes, so it's not too heavy a product uh, topic for you to absorb. So first I would be using some DFT foundation in D34 corrector on a 312 concealer brush. Both these products, that's the foundation and the corrector, are from Kryolan Cosmetics. And I bounce that all across my eyelid. Now this step you can skip if the color of your eyelid, the shade of your eyelid is very even. My eyelids are very dark which prevents the uh, sort of color, the real pigment of the eyeshadow to show. So I have to do this step. So I put this product all across my eyes. And I've used some scotch tape, uh, sorry not scotch tape, some doctor's tape to keep everything in place. Next I use the original beauty blender and I bounce that across my eyelid to make everything appear more smooth and to sort of reduce any creases that could be made. Next I use a 303 medium Revlon nearly naked press powder on a color bar powder puff. This helps keep my concealer and corrector in place and also helps further blend my eyeshadow. Next we use on a 311 brush some 0215 light brown eyeshadow by Miss Claire and this brush is, is very precise in its blending. So it's not extremely fluffy, so that's how I get a nice blend on my crease. This sort of helps create some depth to your eyes. Next, I use the Jumbo Lacme Car Gel with some 10 with a 107 fluffy white brush and I put the kajal in not so a neat line just a very random line very evenly across my lid this basically is to create a sort of uh, base for your black eyeshadow so you put the kajal and then you blend it out with the 107 brush You can see guys the Lacme Kajal blends out very very easily as compared to any other Kajal that I use for the smoky eyes. So next I just take the same old brown eyeshadow of Mixer on this 311 brush, the fluffy black brush and I help blend the Kajal out further. Yep, see making my crazy faces. Next I take the Licorice eyeshadow on a 310 flat applicator brush. Now the licorice eyeshadow is from an absolutely beautiful eyeshadow palette by uh, Too Faced Cosmetics called the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. It's the most black matte eyeshadow I've ever seen. Again we go in with the uh, brown eyeshadow by Miss Claire on the fluffy black brush and we blend both these eyeshadows out. And as you blend your eyeshadow out there, sometimes you may feel that the intensity has reduced. So you can go in and put more eyeshadow. But make sure you blend really well for this look because we do not need absolutely any harsh lines. As harsh lines prevent the smoky look that we are going for. Repeat the entire process again on the next eye with your chunky casual pencil, your 107 blending brush, again with your licorice black eyeshadow and 
with your fluffy brush and some brown eyeshadow by Mixed You would see me using a pencil brush here, but that is not necessary for you guys to use. I'm just using it to help me blend a little bit more further. It's not necessary at all. The number of which of that particular pencil brush I will be mentioning at the end of this video. going on a 107 brush with this beautiful and highly pigmented shadow again from the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette by Too Faced Cosmetic. It's called Cocoa Chili. It's absolutely beautiful. I use that again in my crease. Sort of intensify it. And that's me agreeing that it's a very, very pigmented eyeshadow. It's very beautiful. Probably my favorite eyeshadow in the entire palette. Yes, me doing my little dance that I always do. Next, on a 308 brush, we use the first shade of the Revlon uh, Shimmer Brick. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second. The Shimmer Brick. And the cute little bow that you can see, that's just to indicate that that's the shade that you need to use. That's to highlight your brow bone. Next, we use the Essence No, Cl no Plump No Clump <laughs> Mascara. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my speaking ability today. So we use that mascara and I have it in the orange color. Basically guys you can use absolutely any mascara as long as it's got a round wand. According to me a round wand really helps you apply your mascara very well. So what I do is with the round wand I comb out my lashes first then I go and give them a lift from the root. That's me waiting to see and check if everything is okay and sort of remove that tape at this point. Yeah, that's me saying that's the moment of truth and me going ahead and pulling out that tape very carefully. Doctor's tape is the best, guys. Like scotch tape and other tape, it doesn't really affect your skin. So, yeah, that's me asking my little cousin who's my camera woman as to what she thinks of the look and she was really happy looking at it and so was I. So guys that's the final finished look with my entire skin and like I said I didn't want I was only concentrating on the smoky eye and not really the skin but don't you worry the skin I would be covering in the next tutorial because your smoky eye is not complete without flawless skin. It's a close-up of the beautiful black brown smoky eye and that's what it looks like in the daylight so guys this is the licorice and cocoa chili eyeshadow on a 313 brush which you can use if in case you want to use it on your lower lash line and you're someone who needs that needs a very diffuse sort of a lower lash line you can go ahead and do that step Thank you guys, thank you. Do like, rate, comment and subscribe and comment for more.